Um, my lesson would be on samurai helmets. I'm from South Central. It would be considered the low bottoms, the east side. Uh, I think that art is important to have as a resource because one, we don't have it in our area. At least growing up, I I didn't know about it. I didn't know about art up until like high school. It, it really wasn't there. And I feel that it, if I would have started earlier, it would have changed like my young adult life. I wouldn't have gone directly into drugs and abusing alcohol. It, it wasn't a priority, especially in, like in the LAUSD. I had one art class, but even that wasn't really, I only learned cross hatching from that and that was it. Well, I chose this because I have a brother that's half Japanese and he's always um, looked into his culture and has always been really proud. Even though I'm not Japanese, I, I grew up seeing it and seeing him want to know more because he, he didn't grow up in a Japanese home and he's curious about where where his other side is from so before we get started let's learn a little more about Asian culture and their warrior gear. For this project you're going to be needing the following. <laughs> so let's take a look at some Asian warrior helmets to inspire us. Here is the Joseon Dynasty helmet. The Joseon Dynasty ruled in Korea. This helmet is covered in dragons. Dragons are considered lucky, balanced in nature, and a symbol of authority. Some of these symbols were horns, and they would use them to identify military commanders, and the horns were made out of metal or from water buffalo horns. Now that we learned a little more about the helmets, let's make our own. Step one, draw a half circle. Step two, draw another half circle, but slightly smaller. Step three, draw two mirrored curved lines on each side. Step four, create two inner lines and connect at the bottom to create your flaps. In step five, draw horns on the top side of the helmet. They're moon-like shapes. Step six, draw strings coming down from the helmet and connect at the bottom. Make your circle where they're connected and make two little ribbons. Step seven, draw an oval at the top center. This is your chance to create your symbol. Step eight, draw patterns, create decorations on your helmet. Design a symbol or symbols in the center of your helmet. It can be anything you want. I chose the rising sun. Next, if you want to try a cool technique, grab a crayon and color in some of your helmet with the crayon. Step nine, time to watercolor. Have fun coloring in your helmet. Notice how the wax resists the watercolor. Remember, watercolor is all about layers. If you want shades and tones, just keep adding layers. Once you're done painting, grab your Sharpie and outline everything. Now it's time to paint your background. Let's try a couple cool techniques. What I did was let the paint drip and add some splats. 
but first I colored in the background blue and then I did a layer of drips and a layer of splats. I soaked my brush in water and a little bit of paint and just let that drip. And then after I did the same, I grabbed some paint and some water and I used my thumb. I also added lines around my drawing to give it somewhat of a ripple effect. Thank you all. I hope y'all had fun and learned something new. Remember to upload your work and hashtag crew native and grid foundation for a chance to win a prize from our team, our collective crew native. See y'all next time. Bye.